part two of Penang, Malaysia. Anyway, we were walking down the street and we got into one of those, well, I don't care, where do you want to eat? I don't care, where do you want to eat? And we stumbled into this place, Hamadia. Hold on, Patrick. So they have, I guess this is more their like takeaway. And then they have the sit down over here. Oh my God. This food is the best I've ever, one of the best I've ever had. This restaurant serves nasi kandad, which consists of rice, an array of curries, side dishes, and gravies. It's so good. I didn't film much inside as everyone was just enjoying a meal out, but you get the idea. You eat with your right hand, something to get used to, and wash up in the back when you're finished. So our travel day to Penang, it was less than ideal. We overpaid for carry-on luggage with AirAsia that we had to check. I got the worst airplane ears, I thought they were going to fall off, I was in so much pain. And then when we went to check into the hotel I booked, I booked the wrong month and they were full. Then it started raining. So we just said to heck with it and booked in this really nice hotel. It was more than we wanted to spend, but it was already a hectic day. I didn't get a video of the room, but here's a stock photo. This hotel was simply amazing. Would definitely recommend staying here if you are in Penang. I'll leave their link in the description below. Around sunset, families and friends gather around the waterfront area, having a bite to eat, playing, and maybe even some fishing. You can walk the whole way to the clan jetties from here, which we're going to next. The Clan Jetties of Penang is a traditional overwater settlement that was created by Chinese immigrants who came to Malaysia. There used to be nine waterfront communities with seven remaining. We didn't visit them all, but I'd say the Chu Jetty, apologies if I've mispronounced that, would be one of the most popular amongst the tourists. People do live here, so if you decide to go, please be respectful of the residents. The Chu Jetty is the largest and oldest clan jetty in Penang. You can find shops selling snacks and souvenirs, as well as residents operating small businesses from their homes selling homemade goods. If you are visiting Penang, definitely check out the clan jetties. It's definitely not something you see every day. After this walk around, we went across the street to the Jetty Food Court for a beer and a snack, but ended up being there for more. Check it out. While the food at the food court might have not been our favorite, the surprise entertainment was amazing. The entertainment was a surprise for us, others were already in the know. I did try to search for a schedule but couldn't seem to find anything. Perhaps it's just on the weekends? If you know the Jetty Food Court Night Entertainment schedule, please leave a comment below.
we're sitting in this market and this happened. There ended up being two singers there at night. It was honestly so fun. People dancing, eating, drinking, everyone having a good time. And yes, we drink beer on ice in Asia. I could have stayed all night, but it was time to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps a lot. See you in the next one where we take the train to Kuala Lumpur.